So a very good morning to all the students of Standard 6 gathered here. And uh, we would welcome our principal, Reverend Father Jude Fernandez, our supervisor, Miss Annette Hendricks, teachers, that is teacher Jyoti More and teacher Yogita. And our guest of honor for today is, do you know who's the guest of honor for today? Any guesses, boys? No? So, today we have special guest of honor. Two of the very most loving people from our school. That is, teacher Noreen Kutti, whom you always associate as teacher Julie. And our support staff, Mr. Santosh Ganave. Okay. So, these two of the most loveliest people are the chief guests for today's day. So, we will begin today's program on the occasion, on the very auspicious occasion of the Republic Day. It is the 72nd Republic Day of India and we are proud Indians of this beautiful nation. Yes, and I'm sure that you all love your motherland so very much. So today we will begin with our program. So I would request initially that students kindly make sure you keep yourselves on muted until and unless not required. So I begin with sharing my screen for today's program. Are you ready for the program, boys? A thumbs up. Oh, wow. Okay. So, as we know that freedom in minds, faith in words, pride in our hearts, memories in our souls, let's salute the nation on the Republic Day. Today, the entire India comes together, yes, on Rajghat, gathers in small places wherever possible and tries to mark the tribute of respect to all the martyrs, to all those people that have sacrificed their lives for the freedom of India and to give India the wings of freedom to fly high, to do well and progress. Today, you all kids who are sitting here, yes, with the freedom of so much to speak, to express, to be around, to move around, is due to these all beautiful souls who have contributed in the nation's pride. So to begin with our program, we will, I would request everybody to kindly stand up in their places and get ready for the pledge. Okay, boys, kindly stand up wherever you are. Okay. Hmm? Put your right hand on your chest. Okay. And get ready for the pledge. Is everybody ready? I don't see you standing up. Everybody can stand up. Come on, quickly. I will too stand up. Come on, Archit. Yeah. Each one will stand up. And uh, Master Umer, you will begin with the pledge, please. Be loud and clear. Over to you, Umer. India is my country. All Indians are my brothers and sisters. I love my country. I am proud of its rich and varied heritage. I shall always strive to be worthy of it. I shall give my parents, teachers and all elders respect and treat everyone with courtesy. To my country and my people, I pledge my devotion their well-being and prosperity alone 
lies my happiness. Hands down. Thank you very much, Umair. Boys, kindly keep standing. We will sing our national anthem now. Boys, kindly take your seats. Okay. So now in today's program, we will have a little bit of interaction as well. Yes. Hmm? So usually we think a program is a set schedule. Yes. Where we see some kind of clippings and that is done. But I'm sure that you students have so much of knowledge about your country in which you live so proudly. So let's ask you a few questions before we move ahead with our program. So you can definitely use your mics to unmute and answer one after the other. Okay, so my first question is to you all. Are you aware who wrote our national anthem? Who wrote a national anthem? Yes, Buran is raising hand. Yes, Buran, first go with your response, please. Miss, can I? Yes, Buran. Soham. Soham. Okay. Buran Miss, can I see Jay? Okay, Jaina. Raise your hand, okay? Just raise your hand. That will be sufficient. Yes, Jaina. Ravindranath Tagore, Miss. Okay. Fine. Yes, Umair Ansari. The same. The same answer. Yes. The national anthem was written by Rabindranath Tagore. Yes. And today, due to his beautiful creation of this wonderful anthem, we all across India sing this one national song so pride, with so much of love and pride for our country. So, Next question is, what are the three basic colors of our tricolor flag? Are you aware of the yes, shades? Say... Yes, I have Mohammed Jangarwala. Yes, Mohammed. Yes, Miss. First is a saffron, saffron yes. white and green. Very good. Okay, my students are so well aware of the colors. I'm very glad. Okay, now the next question. What does the saffron color indicate? What is the emphasis of the saffron? Does anybody know what the saffron indicates? No? Yes, Arjit. Yes, saffron indicates white. Saffron indicates? White. I can't get him. Okay. Nevertheless, no problem. Okay. So, in the next video, boys, we are going to see how the flag was proposed 
how our flag came into existence what are the three colors of a tricolor flag what does each color indicate and why is that these colors were chosen yes i am sure you will recall yes so we will move ahead yes kian you wanted to say something beta okay no problem let's go ahead yeah, miss. yes kian please share Sef safran indicates strength and courtesy wow. of country i am so glad my kian knows the answer very good kian okay so i'll just add a few more okay okay so now let's learn about our beautiful country's history about why is the need to celebrate this republic day what is that is making us celebrate what is the main emphasis of today's day is the screen visible to all of you thumbs up if it is visible visible boys is the screen visible okay thank you teacher jyoti sometimes it takes several years and hundreds of people to write a book Do you know that the Constitution of India was written by over 300 representatives who met for a period of almost 3 years before our constitution got formalized The constitution was enacted on 26 November 1949 and enforced so what did you hear when did our constitution come into play boys come on let's have an interaction session boys yes what do you think when did it come into play yes hussain hussain was to do hussain yes hussain When did our constitution come into place? Yes, miss. Yes. Twenty sixth November, nineteen fifty. Yes, we started the journey. Very good. And then, when was it ready? Come on, tell me. What did you watch? Come on, other students can also reply. Yes, Peter. Yes. I have okay. We have a teacher Annette who has joined us in. Good morning, teacher Annette. So good morning, teacher. Good morning, teacher. Good morning, teacher. Good morning, parents. Good morning, students. I didn't want to disturb you all, so I was just watching. Yeah. <laughs> I came in earlier, but I don't think uh, there was some connectivity. Yes. So I wish you a very really happy happy Republic, Republic Day. Day to each one of you. students teachers and parents yeah let the show go on i will not disturb you i'm sure you have no, prepared no, no, a fantastic no. show and the boys they all support Thank so you. i move to the next class also okay i'll stay here for some time you continue teacher yes, thank yes, you yes teacher yes thank you so much 
yes boys so we were discussing what did you watch in the video now tell me more about what did you understand about the journey of this beautiful yes, republic day coming into the picture yes come on share your responses yes neon you want to say something neon November okay, what happened on that day? Come on, complete your sentence better. Yes, ma'am. May I'll be a little louder, better? Oh, miss. Okay, miss. Hmm? Oh. Okay, I guess he's a little soft. Uh, okay, well, no problem. Uh, let's ask someone else. Who wants to share his view? Come on, somebody. Yes, Jainam is raising hand. Yes, Jainam, what you wanted to share? Yes, Jainam? Okay. Nothing, miss. Okay, so then don't raise your hand. Lower down your hand. Okay, well, don't worry. No problem. We will learn something more. Okay, so what happened is the journey of the constitution began on the 26th of November, 1949. And thereafter, it took around 166 days to just write that one book of constitution. Yes, and thereafter, when it came into actual existence, it was the 26th of January, yes, 1950, from where the actual constitution was laid and it was given to all the people with equality for them to be there, read it and enjoy all the rights associated as well as the duties which they had to do for our motherland that is India. So we will see something more about it, okay, in the video. I purposely paused it for you to check whether you all are able to understand it. So now we will continue. Just a moment, beta. I will share the screen. Is the screen visible to all of you? Thumbs up if it is visible. Okay. Here, if you go to see what is the important date, today, the 26th of January, yes, and the constitution came into the effect and a country became a republic and that is why it is said to be a republic day. So tomorrow, if somebody is going to ask you, what is this republic day? How did this name come? So you will be definitely able to answer now, boys. Huh? And then who was the first president of India? Who took the oath? Come on. Dr. Baba Saheb Ambedkar. Dr. Rajendra Prasad. Dr. Ambedkar, which is there, he was helping in writing the constitution. He was the main person who helped us to frame our constitution. But the first president, yes, who took the oath was Dr. Rajendra Prasad. Boys, who's the current president of India? Who's the current president of India? Come on, who is the current president of India? He gave a speech yesterday. Yes, Soham. Ram Nath Kovind. 
Yes, Mr. Ram Nath Kobin. Did you all listen to his speech yesterday, the live speech, just on the eve of the Republic Day? If you haven't, you must watch it. Yes, wonderful. His message is really very, very inspiring. Okay. So, this was the commencement of a significant chapter in the journey of the modern India since we had officially lifted the British law. So, we got real freedom from the British rules. Yes, and that is why on this particular day, we celebrate with great pride as Republic Day. Are you aware of this fact that India's constitution is the longest in the entire world? It is our country who had the privilege to write its own constitution. Yes, and there were so many people who actually worked day in and day out to create this constitution of India, which has been still helping us to live with so much of peace and ease in our country. It is having around 26 parts, 12 schedules and 448 articles. And I'm sure in the further classes of your history, you will learn about the various articles which will let you know about your rights and your duties. Remember, with freedom comes a lot of responsibility. And as a citizen, everybody has to play a role in doing their duties wholeheartedly for the peace and the development of our country. So, Hussein, can you read what does the word republic mean? Hussein? Yes, miss. Republic, a country whose matters are public. This is in a pub republic country. The government is formed by the people. Hmm. And in India, there are no monarchs or kings. So there is no Hitler rule. There is no king rule. Yes, there is a rule of the government which is formed by the people and for the betterment of the people. And here, who chooses? The people choose. And that is why we all are given the rights to vote, to choose our leaders. And each one should do that very, very responsibly. Yes, I'm sure in a near future, you will be the young future of India voting. Yes, and choosing the right leaders among you all to make our country more progressive and more developed. So now, you have come across these words in the preamble. Where do you always see the preambles? In your, in your almanac, there is a preamble. Where else do you all find preambles? Come on, tell me. In your textbook. Excellent, Niall. In our textbooks, each and every textbooks of Maharashtra State Boards, you will see that it has the preamble written. And there are certain beautiful words used in the preamble, which we know how to pronounce. But I'm not sure if each one knows about its meaning. So there is a word which says, we the people of India have 
solemnly reserved yes to the sovereign socialist secular democratic republic and secure it to all of its on the justice social economic and political liberty of thoughts expressions yes hmm? held with faith and worship now there are certain words here which we need to see are important that is sovereign what do you mean by it not controlled by any other country that means we are independent india takes its decisions independently yes it need not be under the rule of some other country yes so that is why sovereign next is socialist you hear this word a lot yes socialist yes that doesn't mean you go socializing outside eating meals and hanging around with friends here the socialist word believes that everything in the society is made by the cooperative efforts of people and citizens so whatever we do yes now during this pandemic everybody what was it it was a social responsibility guess to make sure we follow the rules of social distancing we use the mask when we go outside we sanitize ourselves time to time yes so it was taken up as a whole fledged agenda by whom by the people and the citizens yes and everybody made sure that they themselves are also secure as well as they are keeping the people around themselves also safe and secure so this is being socialist yes socialist means doing something for the welfare of the society for the welfare of the people of our country and for the nation yes next is secular what does the word secular no means no bound by religious rules yes everybody has the freedom to go everywhere yes everybody has the freedom to learn everybody has the freedom to uh, speak yes and that is why we see that there is no rigid bound rule of religion each one can live with lot of peace and love among themselves i am sure that you all will be also watching on the news in some time the parade which is held at rajghat and if you were in school we would have our own parades at 10 standard marchers marching there the band boys playing the band and i'm sure you all love to be a part of this yes so our honorable president of india will unfurl the flag at the red fort new delhi yes and it is a matter of great pride and i'm sure that one day you all in some time in life will have this experience of being at rajghat never miss this out if you get an opportunity you must visit it it is a life thrilling experience do you all love watching the parades boys how many of you love to watch these parades on television how many of you oh wow has anybody really visited rajghat and has viewed it personally has anybody from you if you can share your experience yes i yes i jaina oh yes jaina wow wonderful to know that jaina so can you tell us how does it feel watching this beautiful people dressed up so very you know adequately and marching on this long very proud very proud. proud yes and uh, what what is the uh, what is the atmosphere there how is the atmosphere yes it's sunny weather okay at times it is sunny at times it is very cold yes and despite whether it is very sunny whether it is cold it is going to minus or it is raining at times it also rains you know boys yes it drizzles on those days but still people stand there and salute the parade yes 
and i'm sure that some of you will definitely be a part of defense in future and make your family and uh, you will also make us proud yes of this admitting a few more okay let's go ahead Okay, you all love to perform, right? Whenever we are in school, you have seen you all boys performing in some or the other cultural programs. Yes, and this year we haven't able to do due to the pandemic. But I'm sure that you all creative boys will definitely help to uplift the culture of India. Yes, okay. Huh? We see that our culture is so very, you know, rich and heritage. How many language do we Indians speak? Is anybody aware? How many languages are there? How many dialects are there in India? Come on. Yes, Hussain. Yes, there are many languages. Many, but there is a number. How many? Come on. No one. You should read about our country. You should know about it. Yes. There are in general 43 languages, imagine. And all these 43 languages have got different dialect also. Yes, for example, when we have Marathi, Marathi is of different types. I'm sure you'll agree. There is some uh, uh, Konkani in that, some other kinds of uh, people are, uh, of every, uh, you know, uh, Maharashtrian states, which is there. They have a different tone, a dialect, yes, of conversating, yes. So you will see that our country is the only country, yes, in the entire world, which has so rich cultural heritage of dance, of speech, of drama, of various food cuisines. Yes, whenever we go out, we love to try all these different varied heritage of India. And we must take pride in respecting it and taking it forward, yes? so that it is not getting lost. Hmm? So are you aware of the various uh, uh, awards that are given on this day, boys? Are you aware of the various awards? Yes, you must have heard. Yes or no? Hmm. Yes. Can I say? Yes. Uh, one minute before he says, Hussein, can you click some pictures of today's program and then maybe you could forward it to me? Yes. So keep on clicking pictures, okay? Yes. So, yes. Yes, China, please tell us. Miss, there is Bharat Ratna, Padma, uh, Padma Bhushan. Vibhushan. Padma Bhushan. And? Padma Vibhushan. Yes. Yes. He has a little network issue, I guess. Yes, speak, Jenny. Okay. Miss Paramvir Chakra, Padma Vibhushan and Padma Bhushan. Very good, very good, very good. And you know that these awards which are there are not only given to the ones who are elderly. Okay, it is given on the basis of your work. Yes. The service to the nation, the service to the society. Yes. And you will see that people who have worked really very dedicatedly, 
yes hmm? towards the society towards the welfare of the country are being applauded are being recognized and are being felicitated with these awards and it is a matter of fact that this pride moment which is there is given on this very own our very own republic days on independence day yes to make those people feel proud of what they have been doing and being grateful towards them for their services towards the country and i'm sure many of you might also win this if you are dedicatedly doing the work for the love of the country okay who is this on the screen can you identify the poet yes ravindranath tagore Yes, it is Rabindranath Tagore, and he was the one who wrote our national anthem, and he has written a very beautiful poem. Okay, which is the mind without a fear. Each one of has some fear in our minds. Yes or no, boys? Yes. As a kid, you might have fear of some animals. Sometimes you have fear of some subjects. Sometimes you have fear of something or the other in life. But remember. our mind and heart should be without fear it's only that without fear you can live life with joy peace and tranquility so with the mind is without fear and the head is held high where knowledge is free where the world has not been broken up into the fragments by the narrow domestic walls where words come out from the depth of truth where the tireless striving stretches at arms towards perfection where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into the dreary desert sands of dead habit where the mind is led forward by thee into ever widening thought and action into the heaven of freedom my father let my country awake so each one of us has a responsibility of making sure that we don't get influenced by unnecessary talks and unnecessary actions and make sure that each of our work each of our actions helps the society helps the nation to grow and develop country is the best and wishing you all a very happy republic day yes and now there are some boys who are entering so late do you think it is right to be late one very important thing is that we need to be punctual in life by being punctual i mean that we need to make sure that whatever we do okay we should do it with lot of lot of sincerity yes and when somebody tells us that come on come for a program we should make sure that we attend it on time yes or no boys hmm if you don't attend it on time is it going to help us no so we have to make sure that we are always on time yes so sure. now it's again time to look at this beautiful fun facts of india Remember to subscribe and don't forget
So today it is a great moment of pride for every Indian. And when the flag is hoisted on Independence Day and Republic Day, we need to make sure that we take good learnings from this day. Yes, and we make our country proud always. So was that video really interesting for you? Did you learn something new from this? Boys? Okay, let's see how much did you remember. Okay. Where, who has the sole rights of manufacturing the flag? Which Udyo? Where is it situated at? Who has the rights of preparing those flags? Officially from all over the nation, which state? Miss Karnatak. Very good, Hussain. The Karnatak huh? Gramudyo. Yes. And what is the material from which the flag is made? Khadi, Khadi. Very good. Khadi, excellent. And what else did we see? That when a flag which is there is hoisted, yes? What is to be done in the evening? Do we let the flag still be up in the air? Unflawed? Yes, we have to pull down the flag after sunset. Yes. Wow. Mm, it has the emphasis. And then have you seen about the uh, colors now? What does the saffron stand for? What does the saffron color indicate? Courage. Very good. What does white color indicate? Truth and, Truth and peace. peace. Very good. And what did the green color indicate? Generosity. Very good. Excellent. 